Hey everybody, welcome back to another update video and obviously I'm not sitting in the place that I'm normally sitting and obviously this update is coming out way later than I normally post these which, you know, most times it's early month even though I don't plan to make consistent monthly updates, they just happen to be that way. Um, but I did have a few things I really wanted to talk about so of course, even though it's later in the month, we're doing an update video for December, so let's dive in. So obviously to address the first thing, the elephant in the room, I am sitting at my streaming setup. This video is not in 4K, it might say it's 4K, but I had to do a bunch of trickery and crap to make it work with the new workflow because I am, as a challenge to myself for the end of this year, going into early next year, I am moving my workflow that I normally do on my Mac Studio over to my Windows PC for a video challenge. And hopefully this video challenge will go better than the Linux video challenge, which if you don't know what that was, you can you can check it out over there. It was fantastic. Linux users loved it. Um, but yeah, so I'm moving everything over to Windows and uh, I've been prepping that, which is why this, this specific recording has taken so long for me to get rolling. I started trying to get this set up at like, 9 45 maybe 10 o'clock it's 11 30 now at the time of recording because of how much <laughs> there's issues that i'll bring up in the video but uh, essentially canon's cameras can the canon camera i have can record at 1080p at 60 fps but uh, if you want to be able to do that on your computer the 800 dollars camera that you bought means nothing you have to pay $50 a year to Canon in order to get 1080p on your computer, even though you already paid $800 for a camera that can do 1080p at 60 FPS. Um, logic. Anyway, ranting aside, uh, yeah, so that's the challenge. And so uh, videos hopefully won't look different. I feel like I'm pretty competent as an editor that I can make my styles translate from one workflow to another. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the things going on. The other thing that's been going on is I've been prepping a bunch of stuff in terms of streaming. And one of the things that I'm planning to do, well, I've got two things going on right now. One of them is I've been messing around with some of the new uh, stuff to use my, my VR setup and do some VR racing. So I've got some things planned. Um, hopefully, I don't think it's going to happen this weekend, but hopefully sometime soon I'll be playing around with... Um, Project Cars and doing some VR racing there. Um, but the other thing is that I'm slowly sort of reassembling a setup I had a couple years back that I never actually used for streaming, which is a retro streaming setup where out in my living room, I have a bunch of old classic consoles and all of those old classic consoles are hooked up to not just an old RCA CRT, but to my Windows PC out there that I also use for like free space movement VR. So that PC can also now do streaming. And so my goal is to do some classic streaming out there with things like Duck Hunt on the NES, on an original NES with the light gun, uh, just that extra bit of realism, and the gray one too, so I'm definitely going to get demonetized by YouTube. Um, but some other stuff like playing some old GameCube games, uh, playing N64 on the CRT instead of trying to cram it onto my poor computer and make it work with time delays and all that crap. So that should be pretty fun. Um, I will probably be doing a test stream for each of those at some point. So make sure to subscribe because I only stream over here on YouTube. I kind of gave up on Twitch because I just don't like Twitch as a platform. Agree to disagree if you like Twitch it's good for you, but I don't. Anyway, um, yeah, it'll be over here, so uh, make sure to keep an eye out. And I usually try to schedule them, so if there is going to be a test stream, it's not just going to be out of the blue. It should actually be presented right up front as like, here's time, here's date, show up. So just keep an eye out for that. Getting back to what I said, though, about the tech channel portion where I'm focusing primarily on tech, you might have noticed that a little while ago, uh, I think in October, I think sometime around Halloween, I posted a, a music cover and I've been doing some music covers. I did uh, the, the, the opening for Call of the Night and a couple things like that. And because I want to more strictly focus on tech here on the channel, sometime hopefully towards the start of next year, which I just realized means I'm going to have to do this on my PC because of the challenge. Um, oh God, I just realized that. Anyway, um, towards the start of next year, 
hopefully early to mid January, I want to kind of launch some side project channels, some passion project channels that I'm just going to sort of post to whenever. It's not going to be like a grind channel where I'm focusing on trying to make this into a livable wage like I'm doing with this channel. I'm going to just post when I feel like posting. Uh, but the two channels that I intend to launch are going to be a movie review channel because I have a lot of stuff in terms of movies that I really want to talk about. And I feel like this platform or this channel rather isn't the right place to do it um, just because of the fact that I am focusing on tech and the way that YouTube works and the way that my brain works is that the more I can compartmentalize and YouTube probably likes this too the more I can compartmentalize the different types of content the more likely it is that I can make this channel a proper success um hopefully um and then those other side projects can just be whatever i don't i don't have to tie myself down to those and make them into this phenomenon i don't have to make them into my main channel i can just post whenever i want you know don't have to feel the pressure of making a weekly video uh, i just have to post when i have something ready to go and for the covers that can be more frequent because i will often sit down and just play drums to a bunch of songs, record it all, and post it. Um, and other times, it might take me months to do like a vocal cover. So that's the plan. Uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll definitely be posting when those go live, because uh, now that I realize that I'm going to be doing it during the PC challenge, it might take some extra time. Uh, so hooray for that. But uh, yeah, that's that's one of the other things is the sort of side project channels that uh, I wanted to let you all know about because it's just something I really want to really want to do in order to have a dedicated space to just be creative in those elements and not have to sort of split the difference in a way. So yeah. But aside from that, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. We had the moving over to my PC, um, which uh, <laughs> I'm sure some of you are going to be like, it's not that big of a deal, but you got to understand, I have not used Windows as my daily driver uh, in it's probably been 10 years since I've used Windows in my personal life, more than 10 years, I would say, since I've used Windows in my personal life for anything more than gaming and streaming. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge to, to figure everything back out and get my get my workflow transitioned into a, a Windows environment. Um, I'm sure some of you, it would be the same way with Mac OS. So, you know, don't be, don't be too harsh in the comments. Um, but hopefully it'll be more successful than the Linux one. Um, and you know, get just as much love as the Linux video did. Maybe a little less love, more, more just attention. We'll see. But yeah, the Windows transition, uh, the different things I'm going to try for streaming, including classic consoles and more VR stuff. And then, of course, we have the side projects that aren't out yet. So why I'm bringing them up in an update is just because, you know, end of the year is coming up. And uh, I figured if I'm going to try to launch this by the start of next year, it's best to just bring it up now so you all are aware and you can keep an eye out for it. Otherwise, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. As it is December, coming up towards the end of December, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you subscribe to around this time of year. I hope you have a merry, a merry of that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you all have a great rest of the year, great rest of the month. I will see you all in the next video, which again is going to be coming out at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday. That is how precise I'm getting with these schedules. It is kind of baffling. But hopefully I'll see you all there. And aside from that, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and have a good one.